I think it was April 2013, I fly to London and I get to the office and there was such a beautiful place and I get into this small room called Soundhive and the seaboard was there. It's such a weird feeling to think about it but it's like, you know, I jumped on the instrument, I start playing it and I, it's like I knew what to do, I knew how to play it, I knew I, probably because my mind always thought in that way. I had no doubt that Roland just invented my instrument. <laughs> I think in that time I completely decided to translate into it and stop playing keys, really. When I first played the Seaboard back in February 2018, it was just an immediate connection for me. It felt very intuitive. I could hear the way the sound was modulated proportionately according to my method of touch and how I was touching the keys. It just made sense to me and I couldn't stop playing it. Two months after getting it, I actually put out my first video as Neon Vines soloing with the Rise 49 and the rest is history. So I remember discovering the Roly Seaboard for the first time and it was kind of like a, a bit of a sort of light bulb moment. Finally there was this kind of piece of technology that was going to realise the full spectrum of expression um, that I've always been kind of craving at the piano, you know. Like I often would play a key and, and, and do that <laughs> instinctively and then all of a sudden now there is this piece of kit that it's designed to do exactly that. I identify very much as an electronic musician and also simultaneously as a pianist. And so this was like an opportunity for me to sort of get my hands on sounds in a really tactile way. I remember the first time I played on the first version, I was just so immersed in thinking about how all of these sounds were being made and I played with it before fully understanding what 5D touch was and I didn't want to know anything about it. I, I just asked for headphones and just dive straight into it. It opened up this need for something that I didn't know I needed until I experienced it. After I had been playing it for just a few minutes, I was instantly hooked. I realized, as a sound designer, I'm always constantly looking for something that gives me an alternate way of controlling sound. So a big light bulb went off at that time for me, and I was like, whoa. Certainly with my music, you know, I tend to play a lot of synthesizers, but I also am primarily a, a pianist. My approach to the piano is generally quite percussive. And I found the Seaboard to be able to kind of really accommodate all of that. And so you could be super percussive with a certain patch and like get a really quite sort of gnarly sound just by um, opening the filter on the key. But likewise, you could also access the full range of the kind of portamento sound or like the lead synth sound and using the ribbon along the top or the bottom of the key bed to kind of slide up and down. My favorite thing to do with it is solo. Lead solos, it just like brings me life. I love it so much. Lead solos on the seaboard are so infinitely fun. <laughs> like I could just solo for days straight and not get bored. There's just an incredible range of expression that you can get out of a single sound depending on your method of touch, whether you're sliding, if you're pressing soft, you're pressing hard. <laughs> I've been performing keyboard for more than 20 years now. Done over 2,000 concerts, performed all around the world with great artists of Indian music. When it comes to acoustic instruments, there's always a challenge as to how best we can reproduce on a keyed instrument. In my concerts, I started to use the acoustic sounds of Swarm along with the seaboard rise. So that really made a lot of effect to me because I could play some real nice long bass, basuri, the Indian flute, type of feel and I could also do some crazy solos with saxophone sound. So that really made a lot of difference to me. I just love using my seaboard. It really adds so much dynamic to my performances and in between transitions it allows a lot of room for improv and helps me to achieve those weird sonic textures and effects that I so love with much less effort. <laughs> when I'm performing on stage, there's things that I've had to strip away and my seaboard is the one instrument that I refuse to leave.
I've spent so much time in the sound hive, the Rolly studio, to learn how to play the seaboard. And, and then I start playing with this kind of guitar sounds. It's the simple factory library from Contact. It sounds like this. It's a jazz guitar. And then I was like, what would a real guitar player do? And this is the sound I use for the solo. To be honest with you, there is almost no sound design project, whatever I'm working on, or composition, when Rory is not involved. Captain Marvel, the Avengers, the brand new Top Gun, like the Sonic movie, Kingsman, Mandalorian. I almost think about like having Rory like playing with the Play-Doh. <laughs> I just modify the sound stretch and pitch bending, going up and down, morphing all kind of ways and adding effects. The seaboard really is very, very different. It's just so expressive, there's so much you can do. You can morph and shape the sounds on the fly in a way that just no other hardware controller allows you to do. It's more than a keyboard MIDI controller, it's this multi-dimensional interactive controller that you can really kind of push every sound to its limits with. Honestly, it's one of the first tools I sort of go to. I often will start with some sort of a drum groove, but then immediately I'm like, okay, I want a bass sound and I want it to be growly and expressive and reactive. And so I just immediately am opening up Equator, Serum, Wavetable, you know, any MPE compatible software synthesizer. That whole exchange is very fluid to me when you're working with a keyboard like the seaboard you know i'll have the sequence and then i'll dive into the modulation matrix and making connections and it's just a different way of doing sound design because it's so responsive to the way i played something so it's just this sort of like dynamic experience that i have with synthesizers that i don't have with regular midi or regular keyboards in general i've been using Rolly for quite a long time and I'm really a fan of the seaboard. It's been very critical in my compositions for games. I worked on several projects like Star Citizen, World of Warcraft, Offenstein. I've always been a fan of uh, the transition of the, the note from one note to another is just as important as the note itself. And sometimes, you know, just a little bit of a small glide. I mean, like, uh, you know, it's just like the vocals of a great singer, you know. You can do that with, with the Rolly. I use it a lot on Omnisphere stuff, uh, hybrid synths. It just brings new life in many of the synths that I have. Whenever I need something to be more expressive and more active, I have it right at basically my fingertips to make the sound move in any direction that I want very quickly. One project that was really interesting was the Cyberpunk 277 game I did for uh, CD Projekt Red. There's a lot of heavy lifting as far as sound design. I did over 200 patches, hundreds and hundreds of different loops and individual sound effects sounds and rhythmic beds and stuff. And there was a whole category of atmosphere drones that I created completely with Equator 2 and the Rolly Rise. So I could do things very emotive and make a sound have tension and build and have these periods where it's really subtle where there's not much happening and then slowly you know increase the intensity and tension of the sound with the rise keyboard and that's what makes it such a great controller for sounds like that as seaboard rise and equator to give me an inspiration to my music and sound design absolutely yes even when i play a regular keyboard now you can see me i'm just like moving my hands, trying to do all this vibrato stuff. That's like how deeply ingrained in my workflow it has become at this point. It's the only one I use every time just because it's just the perfect tool for the job. If I need to choose one instrument from now until I'm 100 years old, it would be the seaboard. I wouldn't even think twice. 